Chucky, baby. Keep coming back to Both of us, like together. Both, both together? Hey. I was waiting for you to hey. harmonize my head. Hey. Hello. Hello. We need a third hello, dicks. Yeah, cool. Thanks for bailing us. It's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson. And it is Wednesday. No That's, gangs in the house for uh, now. Time-wise, it goes all over the place due to time zones. And yeah, we're a family for a we little were bit longer. A family. For a little bit longer. Um, Fucking Merc face found a wetter, sweeter pussy. So he's gone. That's Should it. we say it right now? Let's just say it right now. Merc face, get on the mic. You're leaving the bonfire. Well, yeah. Uh, Nick DiPaolo, legendary comedian, starting a show. The exact same time as us. Fucking, we're on the road. He dicked you down once, and now you're leaving for him. <laughs> see how that relationship works out for you. Yeah, see if the side piece becomes the main piece, because it never mm. does. Yeah. And you know what we're going to be doing here? Having a home with Lou and Jacob and Christine. Uh, but it's a promotion for you, so we get it. Our house. Yeah. It's a very, very, very fine house. It is. Um, is it going to be Monday through Thursday? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday. Get it. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, it's uh, we found out with the, a heavy heart. I mean, we weren't, I didn't we weren't really... fucking you enough, so now you have to go. F you want to get a, you want to get drilled out five days a week. Yeah, <sighs> we give you three days to recover. I speak fluent J, so let me translate for you. We were making you laugh quite often and bringing you into the embrace of ourselves. I think you guys are uh, interpreting it wrong. How are we interpreting it? wrong? It was more of a this is something you have to go do. Yeah, oh, it's, well, it's, it's a command. Yeah, 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 it's not like I. Yeah, you know, I. I. This is where my heart lies. But well, you say that, but you're also hasty, Andy. Yeah. So does does that was Larry the cable guy know that you're meeting up with the Paula? You say that, <laughs> but you're treating us like some fucking truck stop motel whore. Yeah, he can go. Yeah, let me get this right, Andy. You've been on a bonfire, and now you're gonna go with an Italian. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. I gotta put on some sleeves to hear this news. I'm sad. I'm very sad. Are you still Hasty to Andy? Uh, I won't be. <gasps> you gotta leave Larry too. Uh huh. So Larry, we should have Larry on as a. I forgot that was even face. happening. I put it out of my head. We should meet up like First Wives Club. <laughs> hey. And just bitch. That's it. Just go out there. We got what? Do you, how was hand, Andy to you? He goes. I tell you this. Never took a prowl a second in front of me. Just all three. Just all three of us wearing white outfits on a beach. Yeah. Sharing maybe some like champagne. Yeah. Just like, some prosecco. Yeah. Andy's gone. Hey, yeah. Andy. I'm sorry, buddy. Listen. I'm sorry. I know. No. We we stood in your way. <laughs> you want power. Your ultimate goal is power. I braced myself for this. Um, you knew that the day sucks, was coming. Man. And we tried to find a way around it. We actually did. Yeah, we did. I, we had a, a two-hour long meeting yesterday. Yeah. And All man. I said, if you're going to go out there and fuck around with other shows, just wear a condom. Don't get that show pregnant. And look at you now. Also, take some pictures, because maybe I want you to send Does it feel that good, Andy? You can't pull out and like, batch off on the Apollo <laughs> show face and come back home to your family? You never know. Maybe it will one day... We all be together. Well, oh, you know we all know that's not true. Well, we got an episode. We got three episodes left, so let's yeah. let's just have fun, okay? Well, next I'd Wednesday like we got to do a goodbyes. We'll have a Merc face Andy, Andy goodbye. What can we do for his uh, goodbye party? I'll on tell you this: we gotta, should we make him do something gay or give him something <laughs> awesome? Well, we, you and I will be wearing ghillie suits. You don't don't that because it's only right. Anything. Nothing gay? No, I, you don't have to. Don't get me. Anything. Can we get you a gay cake? Sure. Like a big dick cake? Yeah. Can we fuck you with it? <laughs> now, yeah. I know you're thinking it's going to come apart, but what if I told you the outside was going to be... Um, what's the name of this shit? God damn it. What's that crappy stuff they make Fondant. fancy cakes with? Fondant. Fondant? What, what the fuck's fondant? Yeah. Um, the, it's the really... You know when you see those amazing cakes on like cake shows, yeah, cake baking shows, or like just the fanciest cakes? Oh, I know what you're talking about. They do it because you could, you could work with it like... You can really do some art. You can really yeah. do some art with it. It's disgusting. I heard. Oh, there it is. I heard it tastes horrible. Yeah, I've ate some of it. It is. Dis it tastes more like wax than it does anything else. Um, a story I want to hear about that you were teasing downstairs to the whole crew. Is you were at the stand last night with a celebrity. <laughs> You're already covering your face. No, I was just coughing. Oh, I have damn. a smoking cigarettes problem. I um. Yeah. Yeah. This was a this was a boner. So what happened? You're yeah. at the stand, and who shows up? I really. I swear to you. I feel like such. A piece of shit. 
Oh, thank God. Her name was Kate Flannery. <laughs> okay. Um, Kate Flannery is, uh, she was in The Office. Okay. I know. Forever. The yeah. entire run. Mm-hmm. Who's and, she? Uh, yeah. She played Meredith. Yeah. On The Office. Now, here's what happened. Uh, after the show at the stand last night, a lady came up and she goes, Hi, I'm, uh, Kate Flannery. Actually, somebody introduced me to her and said mm-hmm. she wanted to meet me. She's, so she's heard about me, whatever, which, by, by the way, I feel like this is all, by the way, before I sound like a mega piece of shit, she hasn't heard about me from anywhere other than the guy she was with, who's like a younger dude, I don't know if it's related to her or whatever, he's a fan though, and a good kid, but he was with her and he was like at Skank Fest last year. Okay, so he's a he's a big fan. Big fan and a, and a really nice dude, but he's with her, he knows her. I don't know what the relationship was, but um, he was with her and she... This is Kate Flannery, and she was like, "I'm Kate Flannery." So I was on. She's led with that she was on the Office. Hi, I was on the Office, and I was like, "Oh, that's so cool." And then I start going into panic. I'm like, "Wow, I wonder how big she was on the Office because it's one of those shows I just never watch." Yeah, I'm not actually a big sitcom guy at all. Quite honestly, I don't do any sitcoms for a long, long time. I mean, it's one of the biggest shows, of course. Yeah, and by the way, anything I've seen of it, hilarious. Yeah, and um. Are we just put on random music? No, I'm no. kidding. I know it's the intro to the goddamn show. Um, she was a lovely lady and very sweet and very fun. She didn't even watch my set yesterday. She just came over to introduce herself and meet me, which I thought was nice. But there's definitely a disconnection there. I don't know the show. And then like a dumbass, a raging dumbass. I'm like, well, let me try to get some kind of relation out there like that, I, that I'm aware of her yeah. and her work. I go, uh, how mad are you now that you see uh, Chris Pratt's amazing body and you guys had him when he was all chub? And uh, she goes, oh, no, he was always like a handsome guy. She just did that cool move. So she goes, he was always a handsome guy. And I go, yeah, but I mean, now he's dashing. And like, you know, when you had him, he was like uh, like chubbier and everything. And she goes, that was Parks and Rec, but it's fine. You know, the, the shows were adjacent. The shows were adjacent in the audiences. And blah, blah. I'm like, how, how did I, you rebound? But here's how did I rebound? Quick. I swear to you, I did this. I went, I went, I, Rain Wilson. <laughs> That's what I did. I said the name Rain Wilson because I knew that he was on. Why didn't I still? Why didn't I go hard, Steve Carell? I know he's on The Office. Yeah, you. You know what you tried to do is. I mean, I tried to I go deep tracks. Like I learned one. I, like I looked on my yeah. phone for a deep track and was like, <coughs> sorry. Yeah, no. You, I like the Rolling Stones. Like this song by them that never ever heard of. Yeah, you went. Uh, I think you went more subject than knowledge because you were like oh chris pratt's attractive now that's a good starting conversation she worked and then you're like huh she's like that's not the right show yeah no i was trying i thought in my mind chris pratt was in the office oh boy no I, there's no i've defensive. done that so many times in life there's though. no defensive middle school i think that's where it felt like every day that something like that happened we're like yeah i really liked that movie and like did you see it i'm like no but i heard about it yeah, uh, well, we were talking about the Justin thing the other day, all the, the goofy, nonsensical lies for no reason. Mm-hmm. And uh, that wasn't a lie. I was just correlating. It just would, if it makes sense, she may have not had any idea that I did, didn't watch The Office at all. But, you but just certainly it. when it was done, I proved it in spades. It was huge what I did. To And it took three times of me really drilling it into her ear hole <laughs> before she finally had to go, it goes, kiddo, that's the wrong show, but you know, but moving on. But she was totally cool and sweet about it. And we yeah, talked, she tried to put you down easy. We talk, she's from Philly, so we had a lot of Philly, uh, doing a lot of Philly was that before accent to each other. Before, after, and during. Okay, so you guys are okay. No, we talked for a while afterwards, but I felt like a knob the rest of the hang. Yeah, whenever... Uh, you try to quote something that you don't know, you could feel like a real shithead. That happens a lot. That's not what you could do for your country, but what your country can do for it. You go, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fucking Nixon? Yeah. <laughs> Just throw everything wrong about that? It's all like, uh, uh, Die Hard's great when he's all like, yippee ki yay, cowboy. Like, that's not what he says. You know, I saw it on TBS once. I was walking through the room. I thought I knew it. Remember, uh, remember he was like, mecha like a high, mecha high, ho? Yeah. And then he walked across glass on an airplane? You go, like, right? You're combining Die Hard 1 and 2 and the genie's catchphrase from Pee Wee's Playhouse. Yeah. But okay. Yeah, that's, um, I had a weird one at the cellar last night. Last night. Yeah, there's a dude at the bar. He's pretty banged up. 
He goes, you're the guy from Billions. I go, yeah, hey, what's up, man? He goes, what's up, Sherrod Small? He's like, I am fucking Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah, I played Morpheus. But he kept going, ah, you're just like him. Because I was at another table. I was at the table next to the comics table. And I was getting up like, ah, like joking around with Chris DiStefano. And he goes, hey, he just kept going, ah, you're just like him. He just kept saying that to me. Ah, you're just like him. I go, like what, man? He goes, like that character. He's like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're like the character. He's like, the guy you play, you're just like him. I'm like, yeah, it's me, motherfucker. I'm well, saying, like, it's not, you know, I'm acting, but it's me playing it. It was just a nice thing where I think he was What so were you doing drunk. when you were there? Were you going like, buy, sell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got a company we got to liquidate. I'm going to call you Axe. Uh, ah, Jesus. They're trying to short squeeze me over here. Oh, no. I'm in the weeds. Where are they? Where's Taylor? He's like, he's doing it live. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it, uh, but he was just hammered. Uh, we don't take the call, but Brad in Connecticut says Chris Pratt looks like one of the warehouse guys in the office. It's an easy mistake. It would be an easy mistake, possibly, if I ever watched The Office or Parks and Rec. <laughs> I've never seen any of any of it. I just know that I've done it, so I'm trying to think of the exact time I have because. So I so I would sometimes hang out with older kids, and I wouldn't know the references. And I'd just be like, yeah, yeah. But that's when you're supposed to lie like that. I know. Andy, you did it? Why were you laughing? <laughs> just because I used... Just the phrase, I used to hang out with older kids. Just tickled my funny bones yeah. off. I like older... Used to do with oh, older by the way, kids. Mark Face lives in a world, though, where you have to pretend, you know... <sighs> when someone's like, do you like when Fish did uh, slam a jamma in yeah. uh, Pittsburgh, 1986? He goes, I also... I've heard that there's a great version of violence in uh in snowflakes <laughs> off their 1987 show where they what played, song uh violins and snowflakes you know that fish song it starts with a fucking slide whistle and it ends with a fucking gila monster mating <laughs> it's a song called steve's anatomical um it's an 18 this guy, minute, it's an 18 minute thing but you can find an 18 30 minute thing this is a song One time in akron ohio this is d this is dmv geisha <laughs> it's off the album uh, Synergy Factory. <laughs> and this is them jamming. Rudy That's true. Jamming. This is a song called Slippery When Sweat. Yeah. And it's <laughs> slippery. Uh, speaking of music, there was a story we were going to talk about on Monday that we never got to, but one that Jay and I have been waiting to talk about, which is there's an a cappella group at Cornell that got kicked off campus or suspended they got booted from campus for hazing that's how it always goes and uh cornell university officials say the college's oldest male a, a-, a- cappella group has been permanently dismissed for hazing what, what 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 let's take a guess on what kind of hazing it is oh i don't want to look then take, take a I guess i already saw one but it's always something sort of gay it's always something gay it's sort of gay to overtly gay. Yeah. This is a cappella group gay. I've never wanted to be a part of a dude group so much that I would like thought about doing anything with another guy's dick to get into it. Yeah. Football. Uh, if if you're there and the funniest thing in the world to do is slap a guy's naked dick, uh, I'm the guy who'll slap it. Yeah. I'll slap it. This is locker but room. But to do it, to say it's like, will you do this activity Yeah. to be part of this group? I'd be like, that's what? Because no. football locker rooms get very gay as far as like uh, laughing at each other and that all kind of stuff. Well, yours did. I mean, I think everyone <laughs> like, did. I guess mine did, but you know, I'm the guy who's... <laughs> I used to punch myself in the asshole with Aqua Four and say, "Come on, boy." Yeah. Oh, I'm the only one that played Circus Seal in the middle of the <laughs> locker room and sucked all the dicks. I'm the only one that played Circus Seal. I'm that guy. <laughs> um, but yeah, you're right. Where it is a weird thing where it's like, do this for this, and apparently, according to the Ivy League school's website on hazing. Wait, before we do it, do we want to put this out? Do we want to? Uh... Uh, say while we're doing this, if people, anyone wants to call in with a story of being hazed yeah. or hazing someone, if you've been of anything hazed, anything interesting, or even yeah, if you've hazed or been hazed, eight four four two six six three three nine nine. Just because it's it happens everywhere. Remember that marching band at Florida A and M, but they like beat a kid. Yeah. Like they did like that wasn't gay. That was straight physical. That was like the fucking Green Beret. <laughs> it's uh, we're eight four four comedy nine eight four four comedy nine. If you want to call in. And, yeah, look uh, that up, Christine. I think it's Florida A&M. They, the marching band went yeah. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they killed a kid. 
Yeah, they've done it before. But it's so interesting. <laughs> They're like, get him! Oh, you got to the tuba section. Boom. Now the Those thing, are body blows. <laughs> the thing with the bands, though, the thing with the bands there, it's actually pretty hardcore in the South. Oh, yeah, yeah. Black marching bands very are much nothing to very, fuck with. At least that's what the Nick Cannon uh, vehicle <laughs> drum line told We're me. white guys talking with our knowledge as drum line. It's true. That is my knowledge. Yeah, so it's drum line. So, so I don't think, but here's the thing. Three found guilty in Florida A&M band hazing death. Yeah, but look how serious that guy looks. Mm-hmm. You take off the fluorescence and uh, and the popping colors and fringes. Yeah. You don't want to see that guy in a dark alley. In fact, obvious joke. I was going to say. You wouldn't see him in a dark there alley. There is, but there's more. <laughs> so they're like, that's like as big as football at some schools. As black colleges, like the marching band is as big as football. Yeah, no, The absolutely. halftime show. Whereas this is an acapella group. Yeah. The, 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 the fact, I, I figure if you do something gay to get into an acapella group at school, like you probably were just like... Okay. Like when it was over, they told you, he goes, oh, that's how you got, you're in the group now. He goes, go, oh, that's cool. That's I didn't know, he goes, know that was. That was our high school acapella's warm up. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Figure the out. Yeah, they got in trouble for putting Oh, my favorite opening acapella before the show uh, ritual. Two part semen, one part water. And then some hot lemon on my nipples. <laughs> yeah, they, they said that they put um, muscle, what was it? Uh, muscle cream on it, like icy hot on their balls. Is that horrible? I mean, I don't know. That sounds just almost like a sweet prank. Is that a terrible thing to do? Never done it. Just by comparison. All right, Mark Face, you just got your next assignment. Get to the store and get us icy hot. We're all going to put it on our balls here. No, I, I've heard it too. Uh, You're doing it, Dan. Okay. No, I don't want to do that. I'll do it. Oh. Yeah, um, what I was going to say is, uh, yeah. I, I told the story on the on the show before, but at football camp, one. These two kids, one kid got in trouble for putting a icy hot up on a uh, like a stick up another kid's ass. Really? Yeah. No shit. Uh, listen, guys, we're all icy hotting our balls here. I don't want to icy hot my balls. Come on, Dan. All right, but I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it, but you know how funny it's going to be to put icy. We're going to haze ourselves like right that? now. That? Yeah. Huh? We, you I'm not going out like no, that. No, you have two to, two other shows to recover. Oh, you want to do it today? Yeah, right now. As soon calls. as possible. Did you? What video did you find, Christine? That was that was the acapella group singing from can Cornell. You go, can you find it again? Where? Oh. oh yeah, can you bring it up? Yeah, wait. We should also find out what the thread is that says should we do this or not. It says you absolutely should not do it. Why? What's because it's uncomfortable? Do not put Vicks. It just says do not put Vicks or Heisey Hot on your balls. Uh, I wasn't sure. I just started rubbing. I even grabbed my balls, my left hand, and started massaging the Vicks in between my inner right thigh and nut sack. Then I washed my hands, went to the kitchen to grab some fruit. As I'm washing fruit, I started to feel a nice, cool, cooling sensation all throughout my leg. At this point, I'm thinking, nice. My leg should be good to go in no time. Another two minutes goes by. My leg and balls are starting to feel warmer. A couple more minutes to go by. I'm eating fruit. All of a sudden, my <laughs> balls feel like there is a flamethrower bursting fire directly towards my sack. My heart rate increases. I start to sweat and panic. I pull yeah. down my shorts, start waving my hands to create more air. <laughs> There's, like it's unfortunately, fire. unfortunately, this just made it ten times worse. So the next move was to jump in the shower. Again, I found that the water with the Vicks somehow enhances the chemistry <laughs> and increases the pain exponentially. At this point, it was to endure the pain until it subsided or we were in the emergency room. But what am I going to say? Hello, I'm there because my balls are on fire. I can't live with that. So I just sat in the shower with the water off for exactly one hour until the pain started to go away. This might sound crazy, but I was literally meditating the pain away. Uh, moral of the story, keep hustling, cuz. I like the end of that. It's okay, but by the way, that's that has not deterred me from doing this. I, I do not want to do that. How about we just put one swear? No, I'm not even going to kind of do that, even from reading that. Jacob, you'll do it. You're all man. Dude, you can do that on your own time, bro. I'm not ruining my Blue. Night. You'll put a little icy on your nutsack. Uh, Dude, that guy just said that it, it, water enhances it. I'd have to be really. Well, so really thank God we're not going to. What are we going to all sit here with our nuts in water together? We're going to have to air them out. Yeah. We're not gonna chill. Be able- It'll be gone before the show's over. No. How do you know that? Because he just said it. <laughs> no, I don't know why you want to do this so bad. That was Vix, isn't it? And he why said you- he was in the shower for an hour. His family's falling apart. Are you hazing I'm sorry. Uh, Am I three hours in the future when Louis J. Gomez will be painting this on his nutsack? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> are we are we an a cappella group at an Ivy League school that I'm trying to get into? No, those guys are men. No. But we're a bunch of sissy Marys over here <laughs> tucking our dicks to protect them from icy hots. I will tell you this right now. I'll tuck my dick all day to protect it from icy hot. Dude, I wish we had communal showers now so i would just was, was just go sneak up on you guys when you get out of the shower he goes hey did you wash up and just like just like nut slap you with icy hot i go no 
<laughs> Lou, Lou, you do it. I know you would do it. No, Lou has such no face. Really? I'm not reading that. If I get really drunk, you can convince me. <laughs> I mean, oh, but Lou's always looking for an excuse to drink on it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I could, but if you wanted to drink right now. Yeah, it, I don't know, man. If I could maybe want me to go grab the handle. Right? <laughs> I don't know. If I take a little nip, I could probably slide a little ice hot down uh, on the old. Hell, I'll pull half a bottle, half a tube. On the old change purse. Is this them? Can we get volume for the audience? This is the group that got in trouble for hazing. By the way, sitting sitting through this is actually like, uh, is gay hazing. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Consider this my unofficial audition. And also, I'm looking forward towards that icy hot. Yar, yar, yaka, car. Yar, yar, yapa, pa, hum, by, yaka, ka. A fucking romance. Yeah, you show up. All right, now whose dick I gotta suck to get in this bitch? Jay drops his pants when he gets to Cornell and he goes, by the way, lathered in icy hot. <laughs> I came prepared. Hey, you guys wanna lick my balls? Go for it. Yeah. You're gonna have icy hot on your tongue. Oh. Oh man, that'd be so obnoxious to be friends with guys that were like, "Do you want to come see our practice? <laughs> Do you want to come see our, our acapella practice?" This is only reinforcing me that we should be putting at least some icy hot on our balls. Christine, look up if there's a medical issue, but let the sweet sounds of this fucking fucking boofoo crew over here. <laughs> I almost, I almost think they deserve icy hot on their balls after watching this. Whoa, whoa! Wow. You and me should have a. Oh, I'll be this guy. Hum, 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 hum. hum. Dope, 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 dope. Should we haze ourselves into that? Should we haze ourselves into that? Yes. The, into the... We're in the core. If you put icy hot on your balls, you're officially a member of the core now. All right. Four-way Bufu crew. See, that's all you got to do is you just got to tell me there's a goal. Why is nobody in the route to purchase Icy Hot? Are you going to go buy it, Jacob, thinking you're going to get out of it? You are putting it on your balls, Jacob. Come on, dude. It sounds excruciating. Of course. Listen, I'm only going to do a dab. A little dab will do you, like Brillo Cream. Let me get it in the room. Christine. We should have it in the room. Christine. I don't want, don't do Vicks though. Have I, you seen anything? I don't know. This seems so <laughs> I Get see extra that. strength. So much worse. The more you talk, the more strength I'm getting. I want max strength now. No, you can get the most basic form of Icy Hot. Dude. Uh, but no, don't bring me no bullshit. Like, don't bring like Dwayne Reed brand or Dude, something. I don't no. want to do If I'm putting it on my balls, I want it to be the brand. I tell you Hang this on. right now. If Wait. this ruins my night. Christine, bring it unless up. Unless there's something medical. There's a woman who uh, tried to get back on her cheating husband by doing it and said that he got permanent nerve damage in his uh, penis. That was probably a lot, though. Penis, though. In his dick. Your balls are much safer. Dude, dude well, their balls are so sensitive. <laughs> no. I want, you already have a kid, dude. I want one. No. I don't know if this is a good idea. I don't want to be in that acapella group. <laughs> See how quickly it is? This is what you got to do. This is anti-hazing. Look up. Medical guys, concerns. Guys. Icy hot testicles. Stop. Look. We're already I'm looking up. We're already solving hazing. We're, we're, no, we're not solving it. We're, we're joining it. We're going to haze ourselves. Mike in Illinois has a hazing story. Mike, what happened to you? Hey, crackle, crackle, motherfucker. What's crackle, up, dude? Crackle, dude. Hey, uh, first of all, I have had my balls hot before, and it stings like you would never believe. Yeah, I don't want to yeah. do it. Jay really uh -huh. is on board. I don't want to do it. But I had two kids, Dan, so you can still do it. Oh, so you had two kids after it? Maybe it, gave your, yeah. maybe it gave your sperm strength. All right, I'm back on board. Probably. <laughs> but uh, you saying it you saying it hurt, but in the, it goes away. It goes away, yeah. I through a whole swim practice. Somebody ice hotted the inside <laughs> of my Oh <laughs> on your speedo, really? Yeah, and it sucked. Is that was that the hazing that you had? Was you No, no, that just came up like that. <laughs> oh that was that was just an appetizer? Yeah. What no, did they do? Was, I, I was in a fraternity in college and they had this thing called Green Dick, where you put, uh, uh, you line a bunch of guys up and you make them watch a horrible porn. It used to be a gay porn. We did it with Fuck a Fatty Fun Time 4. And, okay. and the second guy's got to put the marker in his, a green marker in his mouth and color the guy's dick in green. 
and it scared the shit out of everybody, but we didn't actually do it. It just made everybody think they were going to do it. You saw guys like crying. Oh, they so they said that they were going to they were going to make you. Um, th- so you were going to have to color someone else's dick with a marker in your mouth. Yeah. Oh. And someone's part of the fucking Get Loose crew. Welcome our newest member, Michael Rough Tongue from Illinois. Uh, here he comes. You want to be on the swim team and in this fraternity working girl? Oh, Mike's got some callousy hands. Uh, so you didn't have to end up doing that, right? No, no, it was all. It was like it, 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 you stop one guy first, and they're like, "Oh, he's got." Oh no, he doesn't have enough of a bone. And they get another guy. Like, oh no, enough. And the third guy, and they turn the lights on. They're like, "No, nah, we're not going to fucking do this." And then just got everybody drunk. Oh, okay, that's always but usually what. Fresh. Scared the piss out of everybody, though. Yeah, I bet, dude. Uh, I bet, man. And but that's usually what frats are. Thanks for calling in, Mike. It usually is just like um, they threaten you with gay shit, then get you drunk, which is almost more of th- that's more of a threat than anything. But they're like, <laughs> you want to do gay shit, kid? It get drunk. Nah. Now we're doing gay shit for reals. <laughs> I just want to show you something. Okay. And I want you to know how dear I hold our friendship. Yes. Man. You know that. Yes, absolutely. I love you. Yeah. And I just want to show you just something about just people. Yeah. L- Louis J. Gomez, are you there, my friend? Yes, I am. Louis, if I was to, su- to suggest right now, hey, you know it would be hilarious? On Legion of Skanks tonight, should we should we put Icy Hot on our balls? Right. What, what would you say about that if I suggest that we do that? Hold on. James, hold on. Um, my, my four-year-old is here. James, do me a favor. Do earmuffs. <laughs> yeah, I love that you earmuffs. actually taught your kid earmuffs. Good job, Bubba. Okay, so would I put Icy Hot on my balls? <laughs> I have to answer it like it's a, a TV show, yeah, like yeah. it's a reality show. Can I phone know. a friend? <laughs> yeah, perfect. Way to frame the question, Lewis. You know what you're doing. <laughs> this is for the SoundCloud. Yeah. <laughs> would you put Icy Hot uh, on your would balls? I, would I? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Would I put I, Icy Hot on my balls? I'll be honest, you took even too long to answer for me. I'm trying. Nobody in this room is willing to put icy. We're, we're doing a story about hazing where they put icy and on Jay someone's is, and no one, and no one's and, willing to try it. And Jay is hold literally on, on, hazing hold on, hold on, hold on, us the into putting. Icy hot is, uh, the icy hot is heating up on my balls as we speak. I put it on as soon as you mentioned it. Ooh. Do you put it on already? No. Oh, my God. I was so excited. my four-year-old. You're right. Also, yeah, that's some Odyssey of the month. I thought maybe he did it by accident. Did he get into the Icy Hot again? <laughs> so playing with your balls? <laughs> um, so if we, if there's a chance we're going to put Icy Hot on our balls, you would do it, right? Um. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. I put Icy Hot on my back. Really, what's the difference between your balls and back? Uh, your balls right. are much more sensitive. No, and it can don't, be a listen, lot more pain. don't listen to Dan's coming in here with blinding reason. Yeah. Listen to that's me. not true because I have. If you guys know anything about my me as a friend, you would know that I have an extraordinarily sensitive back. Um, like not, if you pat me on the back, it, yeah. it makes me like cringe, like it hurts a lot. Oh, see, I thought, you, I, think balls, I thought you were going to go the other way with that, Lewis, and say yeah. that you have back balls, uh, where your balls are strong like a man's back. And I thought you were going to lift go, with your balls, they'll say, not your legs. And I thought you were going to go all the way around and say you had no feeling in your balls, and so we could just like punch them and put hammers on them. <laughs> just and, light them on actual fire? <laughs> then, I thought, then I thought our friendship was going to go to a different level. All right, course, like Christopher Reeve. Yeah. I lost all the feeling in my balls. So, Lewis, <laughs> hold on uh, one second. My kid's crying, and I think it's because of what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. hour and a half heads off. up, or two and a half hour heads up. What happened, baby? You might have to put icy hot on your balls. Let Lewis go and father his child. Bye, Lewis. No, no, no. He, I think he's crying. All right, Lewis, yes, guys, bring me icy hot tonight. Legion of Skanks, guest digital, baby. <laughs> Dude. What a what a walking commercial! I what, love him. Yeah, and thank you, Lewis. I mean, he really is a stunt man. He'll just do anything. Like, what do you want me to do? Drive that car through that window? Absolutely. <laughs> I can't believe it took him so. And it was only because his child was there that it took him so long yeah. to say, "Of course." Because by the way, when he answered, he said, "Of course I would." Yeah. He he didn't like. That's uh, awesome. He fought that for in extra no way effect, time. That in no way affects me from my decision. Yeah, uh, Lewis, you'll do either. something. You won't do something. Lewis would do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the guy that I'm constantly worried about when I'm in public with him. Yeah, no, I uh, I definitely... You and Dave Smith, out. Jay yeah. and Lewis, in. <laughs> Great. You got you icy hot ball twins. You could do it on your podcast. You know what Dave and I'll have? Pain-free testicles. For now, we don't know what's going to hold ahead. You know, testicular cancer is a thing. Andy, you were going to say something? Lewis yeah, the it. difference between putting it on your back and your nuts is that your back has muscles. 
And that's what it's for. Well, bro, oh, you never seen no Lewis's muscles. nuts. Yeah, Lewis is <laughs> jacked, jacked. His, his nuts are jacked. <laughs> Hold on, Mario in Houston, you put icy hot on your balls before. I, I'm right for saying I don't want to do this, right, dude? No. It's not that bad. It, it it burns for like thirty minutes, maybe, and then it goes away. Yeah. Do you remember? All right, thanks, Mario. I appreciate it. Do you remember when we had Tom Rhodes on here and we did snus? And how it just fucking derailed the entire segment he was on. It was hilarious. Are we going to do that to Voss today? It's possible we're going to be talking to Voss with icy yeah. eyeballs. Also, we haven't talked about the fact that right now Jacob's running frantically like he's going to get a, a human organ. He's like, yeah. I gotta get icy hot. He's going to bring back icy hot, and we're probably going to make this I know happen. I'm going to end up doing it because I'm a pushover. <laughs> That's a hilarious way to look at why you're going to do it, because you're a pushover. Yeah. Um, it's 6.32. Uh, halfway through the hour, we're blah, blah, blah. It's, uh, let's take our, what's wrong? I swear to God, I, saw, I thought I just saw Jacob run by. But all right, yeah, let's take a break. We'll be right back. It's the bonfire. Should we just do songs about balls? Yeah. Maybe. Hey, this is uh, Rich Voss, uh, the legend. Uh, you're listening to uh, the bonfire, but then again, you know that because you're listening to it. So, I mean, that would be pretty fucking dumb if you didn't know what you're listening to, right? I'll do it again. That stunk. Ball music all day on the bonfire. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big Jay Okerson, who is trying to haze us into a acapella group from Cornell who got uh, kicked off campus for hazing by putting icy hot on people's balls we are now in possession of icy hot, of icy hot. in the studio um comedic legend yeah new york city legend and a man you can catch may 6th headlining the newton theater in new newton let me just read the stuff dan new you're town. so far away i can see with my glasses on jay you can get tickets at richvoss.com please welcome to the show rich voss Thank by you. the way Andy Fiore will be on the show opening for Rich Voss, and the Roach of Rich Voss will be Monday, June 26th at the Village Underground. It's, now, the second to last line. Yeah. A P V F U I G F D. It's Newtown, Pennsylvania. Well, why does it say Newton up there? Because I didn't write it. Newtown, Pennsylvania. Newtown. That's okay. I'm not pointing the fingers at anybody. I think you are. If no, you do I'm not. point Because when you point your fingers, you're pointing three back at yourself. Well, then go uh, this way and then point three of them at Christine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Newtown. But that's okay. It's just a, a theater gig. It's good to be back in the uh, studio with you guys. Yeah, I'm welcome very back impressed to by uh, what you got going here now. Oh, you got thank all you. these. You got Andy leaving, uh, leaving for DePaulo show. Oh, uh, okay. Lou Hart not in it. Uh, yeah, well, just wants a drink. Christine Chris, on the verge of a mental breakdown, and Jacob uh, who quit the show three weeks out ago. Of Jacob had me and Bonnie come into some meeting that. For some reason, I think he just wanted to have a meeting alone with Bonnie. Didn't awesome. know I was coming. He go like this. This Bonnie, meeting. He, he, as he walked uh, in, he yeah. goes, Bonnie. Oh, hey, Rich. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why we had this meeting that we bought him lunch uh, <laughs> and where it went and what it was for. Uh, and I always wondered, why did we meet with him? Nice guy. Showing, I have nothing to get He was showing him. Bonnie another uh, short, fit man. That's what she wanted. Oh. To, he wanted to know she had options. Uh, but I think that. he just wanted to meet with Bonnie. Uh, and I'd just like to know what the meeting was about and why we had it and why I put out the money for lunch. I don't Jacob, care about your the money. thoughts. Now, would you let him not answer that very uncomfortable question if he agrees to put icy hot on his ball sack? <laughs> what? I don't care what he does with his ball sack. I know what he's not doing with it. Which is what? Having lunch? <laughs> having Putting them on with body? my wife alone. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, hey, Bonnie, why don't me and you get a salad or something fit worthy? I'll be honest with you. If someone were to just put their balls on Christine, I would let that happen all day long. That's hilarious. That's another football hazing thing. That's funny. Balls on the shoulder. Is, is it? it? Yeah. Marcus Sot. Well, I don't want to almost say his last name. This dude, Marcus, used to do it all the time. That's a weird one. I feel like you put your balls at a lot of risk there. No, it's it's in the basketball shorts. My oh, that's hazing? Well, no, but I'm saying like they would do that. Like that, I'm saying that was like a football fucking with you kind my, of thing. My ball sack used to be so big because I hate my dick. I like my dick hard. Mm -hmm. I don't get me. I love it hard. Yeah, I'm the same. Nice. I'm with you, buddy. But when it's like when it's not hard, I I have are to there... put a towel around me. I can't even shave looking at myself. Yeah, me too. I hate it. But I are hate there? It. Are, is there anyone confident in their soft dick? Yes, there yes. is. Yes, I, obviously. We talked about it last time I was here on uh, uh, Westworld. Uh, mm -hmm. That oh, guy yeah. was comfortable with his yeah. soft. I was comfortable with his soft dick. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I want to be around that. Make me feel safe if it was in the house with me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but just to what, know it's there. What? Here's the thing. Like I fantasize if I had a 
and I don't want to turn this into a dick thing, but if my dick was that big, I don't think I'd be a funny comic because I would have too much confidence in life. Me yeah. either. You There's know? a few well-known big dick comics, though. If people know they have a big dick. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I remember when I was... Milton Burl. Kevin Hart's got a big old piece he's on got him. A, he's got a giant... Tri- he's so little, so it looks even I've bigger. heard Mark Maron. I don't I know. I didn't know that one. Uh, Kurt Metzger. Kurt? Yeah. Kurt. When I was young, we were at dinner, and my grandmother goes, what makes you so funny? And I said, a small dick. And my grandfather goes, you don't have a small dick, but your brother does. And my uncle goes, no, he doesn't. Wow. It's, it's, everybody knew, you know, dick size in the family. <laughs> my mom saw me no. and my brother's dick and told us both very different things about them. What did she say to you? She worried mine was too small, and she couldn't believe how big his was, when, which was about... 20 years apart that that's situation. so funny she goes Jason is everything okay I told her before they took me to, to a my, she got a second opinion from my step pop to come over and take a peek at my dick getting out of the shower I didn't know this was happening <laughs> wait was what like, they didn't tell you what they were going to put you to sleep yeah <laughs> no no they, they were looking at me they go he's oh, got yeah. dick dysplasia they go man that is really little and they took me to a doctor <laughs> and they told me I was going just for a regular doctor's appointment when they uh, when the doctor was just like, there's nothing wrong. He just doesn't have a big, old, huge dick. He's, I mean, he's, I he's have, like, you know, by the way, they were like, he's like 10. <laughs> so it's like. I have got, a picture of my dick soft. It's nice when I when it's in the right position or when it's, you know, re- before a pee yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, before a pee. Heavy but, dangle, I call but, it. Yes. But back, back to the dick doctor. Mm-hmm. They just took you to this guy and they're like, yeah, no, Jay, why don't you go in there and uh, he's just going to check you out. <laughs> Can you check out real quick? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what they did. You know, they go, and then you tell the doctor, they go, "Hey, I think my kid's got micro cock. Can you get in there?" And my mom, that? my mom told me that story with like a bunch of friends sitting around a, a table at my mom's house, like laughing. At one point, it was like it may have been Kurt Lewis, something like that. But the first time she dropped that hammer on me, that story, I was like. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, hold on. The fucked up part is that they never told you the, what you were going in for. No, not until my mom. I got mad at my mom one time for calling me. My brother was like 13. She goes, I just saw your brother get out of the shower by accident. And man, that is not my little boy anymore. And I was hey, like, what? what? I'm like, why are you calling me she to goes, tell me that? Jay, I'm telling you, your brother has a monster cock. Yeah. When and, I, then, and then when then all she did was remind me, she goes, oh, that reminds me of the time when you were younger. I saw you get out of the shower by accident. And, we thought me and your stepfather where your dick was so small. We took you to the doctor. What? They thought I was you, ten. They thought you stepped out of a cold pool. Yeah. <laughs> she goes, first we were worried that the heat wasn't on. Last then time, we were worried. <laughs> yeah, Aren't we Asian? Last time I went to my doctor, uh, I don't know, for a check, whatever, I had to pull out my... So before I try to fluff it real quick, he goes, don't worry, everybody does that. <laughs> right. Oh, you gave it the two pump? Yeah. yeah. The lucky two pump? Yeah. I've done that. Man. I had a thing... That I went to a dermatologist for a few years back on my dickhead. Yeah, called a wart. No, it wasn't. I've a had. Uh, yeah, no, we'll get was, there. Oh, I call them speed bumps. <laughs> no, it Ticklers. wasn't a wart. I call them, at all. It was I call some, them grip pads. Ticklers. Yeah. Yeah. Grip it was pads. something you can get like anywhere in your body. I forget what it's called, but it's like some sort of. It wasn't even a rash. It was just like a skin Aid. thing, dry thing. Yeah. But I went to doctor and I had to not even overthink. I was like, "Oh, I want to get this figured out, see what it is, mm-hmm. and uh, see if there's something that could fix it." And I went to the doctor, dermatologist, because the doctor says this isn't like a sexual. Th- it's like skin. Yeah. So I went to the dermatologist finally, and, and when I had to pull it out for him, dude, a guy. I was so and I was really, I was like, "Oh man, this side is the worst." The guy, he and looked, by the way, with my thing, he had to really like fiddle with it. You but know he looks I mean? at you and he goes, "Do you want me to put on some chapstick? Or you want me to make this kind of erotic for you?" Well, shot A. Eh? Yeah. Well, I'm glad mm. that sometimes my dick isn't gigantic because I had to have. Sometimes it's not gigantic. Sometimes what a, what it's a noble nice. thing to say. Yeah, goes, sometimes it's nice and sometimes it's horrible. Sure. Okay, but I had to have. My bladder, a uh, picture. So they put a tube through your dick oh, with a camera. Catheter, yeah. Oh and, no, that's uh, to, to, with a camera to yeah. take a picture. I think of your bladder, and I. When he told me that, my dick shriveled up. So it was so easy to get that catheter. That's in. so funny. He goes like this, and <laughs> we're there. And Did we're you done. feel nothing? This. Did you feel nothing? Huh? Do you feel it at all? I, I felt a little. I felt a little love between me and the guy <laughs> sticking the fucking I, I tube a, in my cock. I had a catheter when I had shoulder surgery when I was 14 years old. And That's a, what a shitty thing to have to hear. When you get so, shoulder surgery, you're like, they're probably not going to do anything with my dick. Yeah, right? Well, I, could, I couldn't pee. They wouldn't let me leave until I could piss. Oh, and I had to man. pee so bad and I couldn't piss. Why? I couldn't. I don't know. I was like in there by you myself. You throw from your shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> I go, yeah! 
God. Start this thing up. <laughs> Shoulder whip is. Well, a catheter is different than it a is camera. Pain. <laughs> yes. It doesn't feel good. It was I had like one laparoscopic push, or And something? they push down on your stomach and the piss comes yeah. out, but you get no relief because the nerves of your are covered up with the tube that's in your dick. So when they push down on it, you just see the pee coming out with none of the relief. Just small physical relief. I you, took, when, you guys took fucking cameras and straws up your dicks and you won't put icy on your balls? I got the icy hot right here. What I, are we doing? Are we going to do this? I remember one time I couldn't go to the bathroom, number two. Yeah. And they brought Caligula no, That's where you, number yeah. two. <laughs> yeah, I had to go boom, boom, and they wouldn't let me. <laughs> Caligula. <laughs> yeah. They, uh... <laughs> Dan might be too young for Bob Gucci. Uh, I, I, he's still uncomfortable about our meeting. Oh my God, like Jacob, just get past. Yeah, try to is it a good answer or a bad over? answer? Not a good. I mean, uh, of course, I knew <laughs> why I was meeting with that. I was meeting with the both of you, and I'm still trying to do what we talked about. Still? Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I didn't forget about it. Okay, thank you. To oh, no. we never got any any. I uh, did feet? follow up, but oh, I, you did, with us? Did you follow uh, up? I did. I'm but trying not to make you uncomfortable. I'm just trying to figure out. So, I was just trying to figure out. I did for, follow up a while back. Listening. And Dan's just in a corner, freaking out while no, but if holding he did do hot. what he said, then he's a great guy, and I, and I, I thank him. I did get in touch with people, and I will, and I'm going to follow up even uh, again. Right. Jacob, so you tried to over, put but... your balls on Bonnie, and now you pay the price. <laughs> and I was very with some icy hot on said balls, dude. I sat next to Bonnie. At Rich lunch, was here. yeah, you loved it. I did. I mean, was, I don't. I don't see it. He took deep. He, t he just took deep breaths the whole time. Just a picture of her that she uses now for her Twitter. <laughs> she looks so fucking hot because she had makeup. She's doing a photo shoot. She does. She looks fucking hot. Yeah, it's good. You got a very. Yeah. Uh, you have a very attractive wife. Everyone and also everyone loves your wife. Like her personality, and she's hot. Look at that. That's great. Uh, yep, yeah, that's not what I fight with on a daily fucking basis. No, no, no. This no, morning, no. that's my <laughs> worth on a You would never stone cold stun that person. Yeah. Every f just got off the phone with her, gave me another anxiety attack. Really? Just doesn't fucking it just. Oh God! It, it looks like so, she's listening to that music in that photo. She doesn't listen to you. Is that what you're gonna say? <laughs> no, it's just everything. Whatever I do, it's, maybe if you knock the shit out of her ears, she'll be able to hear better. <laughs> Again? <laughs> just go, just, I don't know, man. Maybe there's only some of the only way they can hear is if you really just knock loose whatever's in their ears. You know what I mean? With a little shot to the back of the head, maybe. I'm just still laughing, thinking that this is playing in this room that Bonnie's sitting in. Oh, yeah. This music. This is, right before, goes, this is right before she fucked an open mic yeah, for a million dollars. Fucked open mic. This is a, she's getting ready to do porn in this. <laughs> she goes, all right, here's the deal. I went pantless in my documentary. Yes. She, uh, that's a, that's a great picture. What are they for? Just promo shots? Uh, I know. She was just shooting. Yeah, it's Raina. That's yeah, Raina. <laughs> it's a kid. Oh, it's, I didn't even notice that. Those are pillows or something next to her. Yeah. We don't show our kid's face in, you know, before porno shots. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she goes, all right, you go it with was, the babysitter. It was, it was take the kid to work day. Yeah. All right, mommy's going to play a sexy office worker. I don't know how long it's been, but I just came across the other day your, uh... The Women Aren't Funny is now on Amazon Prime. Is that good? <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Shouldn't you know that? It's your movie. It's, it's like, always been on there, hasn't it? No, no. It was definitely on Netflix. It was on that. Uh, no, it's been on Amazon from the beginning, But too. now it's Amazon Prime where you can watch it, like, stream it right away. It's not like the, to order or anything. That whole streaming thing, like, my CDs, I just got numbers in. Mm -hmm. And on all of my CDs, three of them, not all of them, three out of the five, because I, I have five. Uh, mm -hmm. The I have one, about, Rich Voss 5, available now? I have about 900,000 streams. Mm -hmm. I think it paid like 200 bucks. Nice. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. That is real streams money. Streams don't pay no... Like, the downloads, obviously, yeah. pay good money. Yeah. But really? The streams don't pay any fucking money. Do you have, what's that called, the sound exchange? Yes, so but you don't get streams. You don't yeah, you get, do. You, you sound exchange? Yeah, Absolutely. Sounds like it comes for Pandora and all that stuff. Oh, okay, yeah, because I just got a Spotify. well, I just got a check from them. Yeah. That Speaking nice. of um, Amazon Prime, oh, there's yeah, a movie. Yeah, we're gonna show we're gonna show a movie trailer. There's a movie called Bad Ben, which was like you know Paranormal Activity, yes. all those kind of movies. I don't watch them, but yes. Yeah, yeah. So there was a really low budget one done that was fucking hilarious, and we had the. It's hilarious. It's 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 one character only. It's uh, a guy, it's from, a guy from, from from just like. Delaware County outside Philadelphia 
and that accent is the only character in the movie fighting with like ghosts, it's ghosts great. and evil presence in the house. Play play a drop for Rich real quick. Um, Go to your home. This is him yelling at the ghost. I don't think you, I have it. What? What did oh, you do, Lou? On, Lou? This family is fucking falling apart. Got you got it. Okay. This is no longer your home. It's time for you to cross over. Peace awaits you there. So that's a little taste of Bad Ben. That's what he yells at the ghost. <laughs> is he reading a book to, to a kid? <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's one of the funniest movies ever made. Jay called it. me and told me, he was like, dude, I was on the road, and he's like, you have to watch this. And I was like, Jay, this is fucking dumb. And I put it on in my hotel room. Like, I'll, you know, I'll steam my shirts. I'll get ready for the shows. I put it on. I watched the whole fucking thing <laughs> dying laughing. Yeah. 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 And Nigel Bach, who created it, he called into the show. Um... We he has another he has a prequel coming out and so we just found out that the trailer hit the internet for the prequel. But but I want to make it also make you aware, which a great part of the story is, when he called into the show not I don't know four months ago five maybe tops five months ago. We called him. Oh yeah, we called him. He got on the air with us and we talked to him and he was like, yeah, you know, I'm glad you guys like it because because I'm actually thinking about possibly maybe doing like a sequel or a prequel even. And uh, Dan was like, can I be in it? He's like, yeah, you could definitely be in it. But you lied about. Which you did lie about because here we are. It can't be six months later. And from him batting around the idea of doing it to a trailer for the part two, which drops, I believe, on Amazon today. Oh, oh yeah, boy. It's out. It's out? Mm -hmm. So this is the trailer. So the prequel. Of the prequel. For Bad Ben. So I haven't seen, I haven't seen this at all. We haven't watched it to see what the prequel is. So this is very exciting. So here it is, a Bonfire exclusive trailer for the prequel to Bad Ben, and simply called the Bad Ben prequel. No, oh, no. no, it's called Steelmanville Road. <laughs> and the first, oh, that's the first, the first, uh, the first frame here says, in 2016, footage was discovered that showed the horror one man went through in a home he bought at a sheriff's sale. In a ham. In a home. He uh oh. And that's uh, always what yes. it plays when the ghost is. He found that buried. Meet, Meet the, the previous might owners. Be a little confused as to where we are, but this is our new house. Surprise! <laughs> they thought they had inherited their dream home until things started happening. Things she was the first to notice. I'm hearing, I'm hearing footsteps, Matt, and and the door is slamming upstairs, and the light is going on and off, and Matt, I'm hearing voices. Yeah, he thought she was imagining things, so he had security <laughs> cameras installed, and they captured everything. So we're I'm back. I'm pretty sure Nigel is a. Uh, by the way, same exact shot as Bad Ben. Oh, is that Ben? Oh, is that Ben? Oh wow, I just did a night version, and you kind of saw a kid in a white shirt. Uh, Nigel better be in this motherfucking movie, dog. Oh my! I don't God. like the vibrating. What's the vibrating? Yeah, sound? what is that? This is not your home. <gasps> Boo, bra. Hey. Hoogie. Wah, wah. Making him realize something unexplainable was happening. I'm so sorry. I, I never should have left you alone. Is there a big truck going by outside? Of this? <laughs> Dude, no, it, it happens every there's time. There's bees in the house. It hurts. Oh, that is it. How is this worse quality that... It's worse quality than the... Uh, Hold on. They weren't just dealing with a ghost. They were dealing with something evil. Where's the baby? I hope you don't mind. I named him Ben. Rachel, you will soon learn baby? about the origin of Bad Ben. Oh. Ben. What? Right, that hurt my ears. That was uh, unpleasant to listen to. Well, um, I don't know what the problem was with that. However, that, that really hurt my ears. Really, I'm telling you, the I'm quality, sorry. the quality of everything is like way down on that. Bad Ben was like an actual like it had like movie, but I film. I always like. say when you make a movie. Get two of your friends that have never acted before. <laughs> I mean, that to, was certainly to be the, the lead case. roles. Those are it. people that like you know corporate training videos. The people that are in corporate training videos would be like, "Hey, you want to take a lesson from my guys? <laughs> 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 you want to learn? I got an acting coach you could talk to." And acting, listen. Yeah. By the way, my favorite thing is in the so they inst installed security cameras. That was oh wait a second. In fairness, 
There was security. Oh, there was a security system already set up in the house, right? In yeah, he just had one. to plug it in. Remember? And then he went to yeah, the basement. Okay. And the I said, my apologies, Nigel. Uh, that's, uh, that was uh, that's linear. I'm okay with that. Oh. But I want to see that again when the lights go out and we see the ghost appear. Well, and he's well dressed. Very well dressed. He's a child of the corn. What is up with the vibration? That. What effect did he put on it? Because it hurts my fucking Where is ears. He what is what he... do you want? Pizza. <laughs> I want to see the ghost appear. I'm glad it's his living room. I thought that was the bathroom. <laughs> Mom? That's the security system. Oh. Uh, Where does this thing fucking appear? I don't know. What's this fucking noise that's vibrating? I don't hear it now. How are you vibrating? Is this trailer of the entire movie? Yeah. Wait, it's the whole movie? Yeah. It's the whole movie. Oh, I never mind. You can turn this off. I thought it was a trailer. I'm like, there wasn't a thing in the trailer where the kid was standing yeah. in the doorway and waiting yes. for that for 20, 20 minutes. Oh. Like a jerk off. Well, what's she doing with a bat? You can't. She beat the shit out of a, a ghost. ghost. Oh, with there a he is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that special effect is my favorite thing. I'm going to rewind it one more time, Christy. I know people at home are listening, but we'll, send, we'll put it At the bonfire, SXM, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, there's a point where at, these turn off the lights and then there's a ghost standing No, there. it's not even. Like, it actually appears. It's so, like, laid over a thing. God damn, that was great. That was it's great. something. There's something about the vibration and the sound. I hear it's, it, yeah, too. It's, it hurts. It's like an effect that he put on to be like... You guys don't You guys don't hear that? We have dog hearing? He wants to take your mind off the bad acting. Well... And we're here. Just so he's here, giving right? fuck ups. <laughs> there it is. Okay. That appearance is fucking unbelievable. So just put that picture Steel, up. That's Steelmanville Road. Uh, available on Amazon Prime. We'll have uh, Nigel call in at some point. I get Wait. sick when I watch movies like Blair Witch or uh, because of the camera angles. Cloverfield in theater made me sick. I, I've I feel got, like this sound would make me sick. That vibration yeah, thing. I don't think it's going to be in the whole movie. Do you, do you know... Uh, maybe five minutes ago you said how great it was that my movie was on Amazon Prime. Yeah, you're right. And guess what other movies on Amazon Prime? Bad Ben Part 1 and 2. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So what, what? Well, you can make it a whole afternoon. You can so, do you can but, do Women Aren't Funny and then Bad Ben and then the prequel. I'll be I, honest with you. All I, are great are great watch. Or you can even think about it like this. You could go Steelman and Ville Road, Bad Ben, and then the sequel is Women Aren't Funny. <laughs> well, extra syllable you put in. Steelman and Ville. Steelman and Ville. Steelman and Ville. Steelman and Ville. Steelman and Jeff in Fort Worth, icy hot story. Convince Dan Soder it's going to be okay. Dude, it's it's in my hands. We're either going to do it now or never. Hey, buddy. First things first, crackle, crackle, motherfucker. Crackle, What's crackle. All right, so when I was 15 or 16, uh, my stepdad told me to, you know, put icy hot in my balls, and he'd give me $100. <laughs> give, dude, what a funny-ass Your stepdad. stepdad is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, Your father should have beat him up. Uh-huh. I did it, and it's really not that bad. It it burns for just a little bit, and then it goes away. All right. And then it goes away. See, everybody has a stepdad story and their penis when they were a kid. Yeah. You had to go to a doctor. That's true. But you didn't get $100. No. He, didn't rub, I, he didn't rub icy hot on my boss until I was 18. <laughs> yeah. He goes, yeah, that's the part he's not telling us. He goes, hey, super awesome bet. Why don't you let me lather up your balls with Icy Hot? I'll give you 100 bucks. He goes, my stepdad's fun. He goes, wait, maybe actually I want to bet about a hockey game. Anyway, we put Icy Hot on my balls. Yeah. We can't do it near a school. Yeah, 100 yards away. Jeff, thanks for calling in. I, I don't see the point in doing it. I mean, see here, then we have, now we have Shane in New Jersey who tells uh, another story. Shane. Hey, guys. What's up, buddy? Hey, so when I was in uh, high school many years ago, I had a uh, thigh, not really an injury, but I had a, a reason to put Icy Hot on my thighs and got a little bit too adventurous and ended up with some of it on my balls. And, what do you mean by too uh, adventurous? You start using it as like jerk-off lube or something? Yeah, were you like, oh, no, not, man, this is really... Not that, that adventurous. Just used way too much. And um, I actually went to pee, and my pee was the color of like urine mixed with uh, Pepto-Bismol. Yeah, but I have a thing. But aren't you more thinking that's possible because it was on your thigh that maybe some of it got in your pee hole? It doesn't seem like a nuts issue. If you're no, no, I don't. That was the only time it's ever happened in my life. Was that uh, with that time? It happened twice, uh, like two pee cycles um, with the icy right. hot on. Right, so, so I don't know if it was related. So big it's deal, Dan. You're gonna, you'll piss Pepto Bismol for a no. couple hours. And God bless you if your dick touches your thigh. Oh, God bless. <laughs> God bless. Like the, like the 
pinkish red color. So I've always equated it to the Pepto. Uh, to the Pepto. The, the, Pepto, the, the, the Pepto you poured in your dick hole? <laughs> yeah. That's uh, fair. Oh, that was the Pepto I poured. This is, this is how hypochondriac I am. Now, if you have cancer, one of the signs is your, your poo is black. That's a sign of cancer. When you take Pepto-Bismol, your shit will be black. There are a lot of reasons your shit could be pretty dark. Yeah, but it'll be black from Pepto-Bismol. Uh-huh. I, I had to take Pepto-Bismol from my stomach. I knew it. I knew that. Then the next day I took shit, it was black, and now I convinced myself I had cancer. Even right. though I knew... It was going to be black. It was going to be black. That's how fucked up... Yeah, no, I'm the uh, same person. Yeah. I, three times a year, I'm dying for sure. Yeah. And I, put, and I make peace with it and put my family in order. <laughs> yeah. well, I, don't, I don't know who I assign as co... Uh, safety to poc- safety, safety deposit box, uh, person, my older daughter or my wife. I don't know who, who do you make the person? Your wife, I think. I say your daughter. I would say oldest daughter. Oldest daughter. But, um, we're going to take a break and when we come back, I want you, uh, since Rich has got kids and you were just at an event last night. And we'll night. figure out during this break if we're going to put it icy hot or not. I'm saying no. I keep delaying it because I'm not going to do it. Oh. Because it's the bonfire. No oh, I, after I'll tell you later. I had a girl blow me with pop ro- with uh, pop rocks in her mouth. <laughs> oh, well, this is fun. <laughs> hey, folks, this is Colin Quinn. You're listening to Big J and Dan Soder Bonfire. I'm not messing up the name. That's actually the name. I guess they're trying to evoke some kind of a warm two idiots playing guitar with some happy girls in sweaters. Two of the biggest creeps in the business. Hey, let's have a bonfire. Our show brings everybody together like the old ancient... Oh, it's sickening just doing this. Just saying this is sickening me. Bonfire, everybody. Speaking of balls, this Sunday, May 6th, you can go catch Rich Voss. I was going to say a ballroom, but it's a theater. That's, that was my connection Saturday. I was going to make there. Yes, this, yeah, it is Saturday. Christine. Saturday, Saturday, May 6th. New town. I know. She has Sunday. New town. They said it was Saturday. This Saturday, May 6th. Motherfuck. You can catch Rich Voss headlining the Newtown Theater in Newtown, PA. Get your tickets at richvoss.com. And, of course, our own Merkface Face Andy's going to well, be on the show. Not our own for much longer. I bet you can't get tickets at my website, but you can go to theirs. Go to theirs. You and set then, up your tickets on your website? Yeah. Yeah. Is that hard to do? No. I don't know. You just put a link from your website to theirs. Uh, yeah. Basically, I, mean, yeah. I have, like, a different thing where I have to, like, I can go through and put, like, the address of the club in. You show. do all that? Mm-hmm. No. Newtown Theater in PA. Boom. That's enough. So check it out. And, and you can't get your tickets at richvoss.com. <laughs> you can't get them. So don't Why even do you, fucking you have a try. calendar, but no ticket. It's just a calendar. It's not actually Look being able Christine to get Look at Christine judging your mother for her website. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, you better snap back, Rich, because this ain't the roast of that, this ain't the roast of Rich Voss. West That's Coast. June 26th. Well, well, let me tell you Underground. Let me tell you something. Uh, internet. I mean, computer suave. Suave? I, that's not the word. Is it? Yeah, no, savvy, but I like I suavy like, better. God, am I suavy sounds like an old oh, pirate. Christine like, thinks she's suavy is so word, much. How am I going to do it? I was like, is this like an old timey word for whore? What is he saying? <laughs> the old internet suave. <laughs> you can put, you can go to month on that too, though. Oh, yare ya computer suave. Yare ya suave. Sad suave internet. <laughs> Computer. God, do I oh. fuck up so many words? Suave. <laughs> oh, computer. Internet. <laughs> Suave. Ahí sí, rodeando. You go and then you, <laughs> you go to the Google. You go to Google. Q- you go w- to the Yahoo. <laughs> Q W E R T Y. That's what it is. <laughs> you can check out Big J Ogerson headlining Laughs in Boston this Thursday through Saturday. Go to BigJComedy.com for tickets. Oh, Cool J. Check out CISO.com for What's Your Fucking Deal Season 2 and then BigJComedy.com for tickets. Go yeah. on out, Boston. Yeah, come to Boston, you cocksuckers. I know you're listening. And, of course, Dan Soder. Well, Danny, oh yeah, Danny. Wow. 
Wow, you went deep on that one. Dan Soder is going to be performing at the Stress Factory in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Thursday, May 4th. That's tomorrow through Saturday, May 6th. That's Saturday, May 6th. Get your tickets. I believe if, com- if Computer Suave over there nailed it, <laughs> you can get your tickets at DanSoder.com. Christine has been the same since Christine Fucks Lamb. Are you are you angry, Christine? Since Christine fuck Lamb? No, I just thought there were ticket links on richvoss dot com, which is also where it says Newton, PA. Oh. <laughs> I think that's just how Newtown spelled. New- no, I, it's my mistake again. Oh, yeah? I'm sure. <laughs> it's you? <laughs> you know what? Rich Voss coming clean with his mistakes, though. <laughs> yes. It's supposed to be Newtown. <laughs> um, you got to pay someone to put your stuff up on your website. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I, you got to get your own computer links? suave. <laughs> I know how to do that. Do you? Yeah, uh, cut th- and paste. Th- <laughs> you don't know how to cut. I don't know how to do anything on my website at all. Nothing. Cut I don't, and paste. I don't know the back door of that. No, is. I would just do it through... Uh, when I put in the dates through, I put in my dates through uh, Google. Mm-hmm. I go to Google Calendar, put my dates in, and I would just cut and paste the pl- the, the link. But I listen. If people, if I tell them Newtown, PA, I think it's easy enough for them to find fucking tickets. To go I mean, that's to- a lot to, though to put on your fans to be like, "Hey, I'm here. Now you do the work." No, Not no. if Newtown spelled wrong. Yeah, <laughs> and I like to throw them off. I like to give clues. Like I tell people I'm performing in, in New, New Jersey this weekend. But not where Wait, it see is how Newtown spelled. Oh, look at that. Yeah. I spelled it wrong. There it is. I think I'm going to go fix it right now. I'm going to go ahead and tweet this link right now. Yeah, do it. <laughs> tweet the wrong link, but it's also by the, the way, right By the link. way, go back to that flyer for the record. Uh, in slightly smaller letters, Rich Voss is uh, Adam Lucidi. Ah, uh, no Merc face. Oh. No. First of all, first of all, that's old. And second of all, that guy's not on the show. Andy Fiore? Andy is. The, the, you're welcome for me. But what about all, when all the Adam fucking Lucidi people show up and they're going to be pissed off? Do you have Andy who's Fiore? That, who's he? Uh, you don't know the, the Lucids? I might Lucid. have seen him. I'm sure he knows me, but I don't I'm know. Smiling <laughs> next to you in, a, in Adam, Adam Lucidity. <laughs> yeah, we're doing docking? Or it's no, Queens, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm it's all talk to my people together. about that. I got to talk to him because look how old that picture is. That's not the one I sent him. I don't even have any tats on my arm. The legendary Rich Voss. There are clubs that use with pictures of Adam Lucidity. With his clean skin, no tattoos on. If you live in Newtown, figure out how to get tickets on your own. No clues or tips. <laughs> Just the place no, where I'll be. <laughs> there's no info on my site, <laughs> and the info there is spelled wrong. <laughs> my arms are innocent. <laughs> has my British open. show ended, <laughs> or has it just begun? <laughs> is the show last year, or is it this year? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I do that for a half hour. <laughs> Leave it up, Lou. So, Newtown Theater, 120 North State Street, <laughs> Newtown, PA, 18940. I'm sure if you call the town clerk, <laughs> you can get some ticks. Um, so, you went to a recital yesterday. I did. I went to my daughter's spring concert. What's the spring? She's in high school, so is she in the well, choir? The she's in, I guess, the choir of her grade, which they just let anybody join. Apparently, no one really seems to want to. Uh, also, to make nobody wanted to come to the show, it was pretty empty in the audience. And it was the spring concert. Yes. How, so and, every grade, my daughter's in ninth grade. Yeah. Every grade goes up to um, do their chorus, and there's like the select chorus. That's everybody who's the best of the school. Okay, best of the best. Where they had to go, the the deep cockles of that school they must have to go to to find that select chorus, because every every chorus of the grades were was worse than the next. So what did it start? What were the my age daughter range? went out and got nine clown makeup painted on her face. Was it nine to twelve? Wait, she got clown. What she when she was finished school, she walked over to Sephora and got like a full like face of like you know 
fucking uh, lot lizard makeup on. <laughs> so she had like, so she had lot lizard makeup at her spring at her spring. The recital. only person wearing makeup, by the way, and she's in the bag. She's like, all oh, like, it's so. She's just winking at the gym teachers. She's like, how you doing? Yeah. <laughs> she, goes, she goes, hey, I'll climb your rope later. Huh? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know I'm talking about big guy. Let me sing these fag songs and I'll be right there. Oh, huh? dude, there's so, a lot of gay kids for sure up there with the, in the choir, but man. <laughs> No one had any. You, you notice that thing where you see when you think we go to school play like that? You're like, oh, one of these girls. Like, this is a performer. <laughs> Even the ones that had good voices. Oh, that's Lashonda. She always is singing in her church. So I taped a bunch of it. I don't know what legally we could put it out, but because uh, other people's children. But just the idea. Like my favorite one of my daughter's three songs. She did the last song they did. You know, everyone just sits there very awkwardly. And everyone just kind of stares down and looks. And no one really sings the song outward. And then. They get this kid who I would say probably like one of the biggest introverts of the whole thing. Yeah. He just has to like cut through the, the group and get in the front. And they start the song and he just does that like 521,600. Oh, they did the rain. But first of all, they're doing uh, songs from the AIDS musical at Catholic school, which is just already hilarious. <laughs> yeah. 5,021. But, but he had to do that whole opening thing. Oh. And then it went to just a bunch of uninterested kids singing it again. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Then they all go. Then they bring on the 10th grade kids, which is now. The, the, the school is very white, but. The bulk of the black seems to be crammed into the 10th grade course. Okay, all right. And uh, there's two... We're talking class of 2020, two, not 2021. Two girls, one black, six dudes, three black, the rest Asian. <laughs> all right. Did it seem like and it was like, going to be Sister Act 2? You, you, know like you, know, like, you know what it seemed like? It seemed like it was so weirdly like set up Yeah. that I was like, oh, I bet this is like, dudes are going to be good. Cause it's just very odd to have to war. Why would it be three Asian kids, three black kids, and then a black girl and a white girl? Yeah. Why? It just seems very formulaic to be like, they got something going here. They're going to nail this. And so they start, a, I'll be there. Oh. But like almost like the Mariah Carey ish kind of version of it. But the girls. So you had hope when they started. I did. And, but right away I lost it because the girls just start singing the song like. You have They're terrified, and then I'm like, I, "There's a black kid who no, and everyone else is wearing like no ties or whatever. He's wearing a bow tie. He's got like a Gumby haircut. He's got like the Malcolm X glasses on." Mm -hmm. And I'm like, "I bet this kid, because now what I'm expecting is the." Like, I'll reach out my hand to you, feel my world. He yeah. just steps forward and goes, I'll reach out my hand. Oh. It was so horribly and awkward. You start booing? It's like, I who the hell is that guy booing? No, what's funny is if I could bring up the videos here, what you'll hear is me laughing a lot. The only person <laughs> laughing. And every time they start another song, I just go, oh, yes. <laughs> like this one's so you were super great. jazzed by oh, it? Oh, dude, jazzed isn't the word. They go, hey, I think that girl with the full makeup in the night grades dad is super, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> dad's super think the into girl is sucking off mr johnson 10th yeah. period you know the you know the ninth grader that looks like she's 20 i think she uh her dad's super into this school <laughs> concert and he's all yes yes you have three daughters i you got i just went to my daughter's thing yeah where how, they all had to play the recorder and, and she's and how old eight nine okay but they didn't sing in this one i've been the ones where they sang yeah and i said to my wife i go Every you would see one kid that has potential yeah. to become a star, sure. or not one in my town. No, not one. That's how I one. Feel. That's how I felt not here. one. There are these dud towns. But you got to start going around like the Music Man. Hey, let me see it. What? Yeah, it does sound very passive. Bring my one. <laughs> I'll be there to come for you. I don't know. You're making my arm fall asleep. It's, uh, dude, it was... There was not an ounce of talent in that yeah. entire school. I hate you. They should have given you... You should have done an American Idol with Jay as the Simon. <laughs> what grade are you in? Because it seems to me you failed and you will fail again. You're I flat. You don't I don't know care. if my daughter even has like I've heard her sing before. She could like she could probably carry a tune to some degree, but whether she can or she can't, is it, none of them give a shit. Now, no, they is, don't. Because that's, that's not like, what none, they're looking for. Yeah, in just, life. just by comparison, this is Ballard High School's concert choir and advanced women's choracle of "I'll Be There" from 2014. 
I mean, I already hate this version. Yeah, it's what very Catholic. What am I trying to get fingered by Josh Groban? Yeah, I also feel like I should. Oh, we, that's all we're going to play of it. That's it. That was all right. find different ways. How is it spelled right now? <laughs> Newtown. Yeah, on your site. Yeah. Right. Oh, you got to go to the site. Did you Wait, why do we keep cutting the music? Are we going? Which way are yeah, we going? What I the like fuck's that. happening? Christine, what are you doing? Are you going to Rich Voss's website? Are you his new I internet wanted hear, suave? I want to hear that fucking song with the, the white school. Yeah, the white school made it sound like a fucking Catholic prayer. I was trying to find a different version. You know of what? Choir I singing. would find find a school in like in an urban neighborhood. Yeah, Harlem or find, Oakland, or right. yeah, or Newark or something. I guarantee they fucking knock it out. Yeah, oh, yeah look yeah, for yeah. a black choir doing. Yeah. I'll be there. Well, I would go to and my I'll daughter's. Stack it up against that or corny go, ass or, white choir. Or, or, go, go, to, or go to the Jackson Five. <laughs> <laughs> when I would go to my daughter's like cheerleader stuff when she was cheerleading when she was younger, yeah. and you'd go, you'd play. They play a black school. I mean, the girls. I mean, we're like fucking the wall. What? I mean, like the uh, the cheerleaders in the black high schools. Yeah. I mean, I can't believe they're allowed. And like their coaches in front of them doing the same move, like looking at them, like, yeah, now pop that pussy, split it open, clit bounce, clit bounce, truck, 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 truck. Here's a here's a gospel choir, the Suerto Gospel Choir. I mean, it's already. Yeah, but this doesn't count. This isn't a high school recital. They're in a goddamn studio. Well, maybe they, maybe Isabel's just going to... Computer Suave, what's going on today? Yeah, you're off. I think this lamb fucking really did scramble her brains. RichWoss.com, correctly updated. Did you do it, Merkface? No, I did. I reached it. You just did it sitting right here? You are so internet savvy. Yeah. It's not Suave. Yeah. Do you see how good they sound? Go to a school, though. Find a... I mean, these kids are nailing it. Huh? Of course, they're adult. It's an adult black choir. No, <laughs> those are high it's like school kids. They're playing the balls. They're those like are, a real you, team. You think they're adults, but they're still in high school. <laughs> those are young kids right there. That's the diabetes team. <laughs> Build my so, world, dream around you. I'm so glad I found you. So glad I. Jay joins the Suerto Gospel Choir. Oh, dude, if there's a way to uh, audition, I'll like, audition. You're be like Forrest Gump? I'll wait yeah. every Sunday. <laughs> Little pitchy. <laughs> <laughs> Little pitchy dog. All right. Oh, yeah. Chula Vista Middle School Boys Choir. Carlos. Here we go. I mean, I don't know why Carlos has such a female following. Yeah, really. What if he's just whack? He's like, he's like nine. What if he's just whacking the face with panties? <laughs> yeah. And it's like adult, it's like a teacher. Yeah, she's like Carlos. <laughs> I mean, they're losing. Oh God, Carlos is so hot. I'm gonna suck his dick. I in the swear to God, life. I was teaching him his ABCs and I had to stick a finger in. <laughs> I'm gonna take my Virginia Slim break, but I'm gonna go suck this kid's dick. I mean, they're losing their shit. Why did they lose their shit? his voice. Look at the bling in his ear, by the way. Wait, pause it for a second. Pause it for a second. I just want to say one thing interesting here. It's Chula Vista Middle School Boys Choir. Dash, and then it says, Carlos sings I'll Be There. Like, we should, like, even if you're not anywhere from near Chula Vista, you're supposed to go, oh, yeah, Carlos. <laughs> Wait, is this a Carlos single? <laughs> from Chula Vista. Is this a Carlos solo sheet, or is he with the choir still? You're telling me the Chula Vista Wildcats' is own Carlos sings I'll Be There? <laughs> Put that thing on wax. <laughs> But get that down on I'll wax. tell you right now what's going to happen. Home ec department, geography department, math department are going to lose their shit. <laughs> okay. Get that on wax. I, I'll tell you the future. Ankle bracelet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he's got earrings in and he's making women scream at the age of nine. He's going to be in that does jail. Not, that, does not lend, that does not lend itself to a good personality. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's definitely going to be fun to hang out with when, when you're he's nine, 27. Your, your teachers are on your jock and you're nine. <laughs> yeah. Listen, they're fucking going nuts. Keep playing a little more of it. Carlos is making him lose it. Oh, I gotta hear him hit the part. I mean, that's not fake. I'll be there to uh, that's me. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's Dan. Give my that's world dead dream. dreams around ya. That's <laughs> I'm glad I found ya. By the way, Carlos was my friend Adam, and that was me in eighth yeah. grade, where all the girls were screaming. They go, "You and me." <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> 
Oh, and then you're in the background going, I'll be there. It went from, I'll be there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It goes from singing to spoken word. Dude, play it, play it back. Hey, who's Henry Rollins behind you, Carlos? Hey, Jesus Christ. Wait, go back to where they're screaming. Right here. Yeah, hold on. There it is. Oh, that's me. No, back up, back up to when they, they go nuts, and then the other kid. Now he's getting mad. Yeah, because he's not, he's not singing, so sing it. Now he dips off, and then the... I'll be there to comfort you. I found ya. Oh, this is all right. Now it's starting to hurt my ears. Here's, here's, here's the thing. Pause Hold it. on. If that's their number two guy. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's their number two. You literally took the words out of my mouth. I go, that is a severe drop off. Yeah. If, oh, that kid, if that kid, yes. your, if that kid's your quarterback, yes. if, that, if Carlos is your quarterback and the, and the rest of the team is, is the, yeah. the second best is that kid, you don't win a game. If Carlos yes. would be the best quarterback it and, ever and lived in high school that's football. Fucking, that's, that's, that's Brady playing with the Jets. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, late, he, goes, he goes, I'll be there to comfort you. <laughs> late night. Build a world around you. Late, I'm glad I found uh, you. At, at Chula Vista Middle School, late night, the janitor's going through the hallway, and he notices a light on, and he goes on. It's the choir teacher, and he's just looking at his roster, and he goes, we got Carlos, and that's it. <laughs> he goes, what do you mean? He goes, the recital's coming up, and I know Carlos will get a pop, but second is Brandon, and that kid's a dud. <laughs> I'll be there to comfort you. He goes, he goes, Carlos, I know I'm asking a lot of you. I'm asking you to go out there and carry the whole team again for a concert. Uh, now, eventually, we're going to have to let Otis come in and sing the second part. Otis is... I don't want to do this, but we got to spread the ball around. <laughs> Carlos, I'd say take the whole fucking thing. I'll what be is, honest. This is going to be a Carlos it? solo show. What does it say? The, the, uh, the, com the comments for the second kid are pretty harsh. <laughs> The other kid, by well, the way, I'm the second kid. Wow, that second kid sucked. This is so great about it is I'm the second kid, and I know that. I, just, I immediately identified Someone it. Someone felt the need to curse. Dude, the, what do you write? The second kid can't carry a tune in a fucking bucket. In a fucking bucket. <laughs> just, can you, Christine, can you play a little bit of Carlos into the kid again just to hear the drop off? So there's Carlos. All right, yeah. Good. I mean, this song's four. I want to hear, like, hear where Carlos it goes. Is disappointment in his eyes. Because there's some serious parts coming up for number two. Yes, yeah, here's me. I'll be there to come for you. is itching to get back out, too. <laughs> There's some nepotism going on. Fucking lying in a cage. Yeah, Carlos, stop pacing. You're getting all the women all fired. Oh, uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. You're gonna fucking doofus again. Oh! Carlos! Oh, this is gonna get so good right here. This is gonna be a real fat shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Which one's singing it? Uh, top left. Oh. At the bonfire, SX7. See it. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. oh Carlos is going to bang him after this. I mean, they lose it for Carlos. They come That's fucking... Why would they do it to the other kid? He goes like this. He goes, well, I'm better at football. Why would they do that? The good news is, is I can fucking crack. I think when I... the other kid's singing, the, the the music teacher's massaging Carlos's feet. She goes like this. She goes, Carlos, it's more of you. Cut in. It's fucked up to the other kid. 
Oh, the other kid is just a placeholder. Oh, my God. They also don't have rhythm in this school. The kid's arms are going the wrong way with his body, the Indian kid. Yeah. Here's the thing. I got to be honest with you. We got to start profiling for choir, if I'm being honest. Yes. That's why they all suck, because you force them to jam at a bunch of kids that shouldn't be there. Yeah. You know what you need? You need our, all Carloses. You know what you don't need? You need legit auditions. Second kids. Yeah. Second kid shouldn't even you know been what, in the room. Choir, it should have been just Carlos and them doing some fucking a play or something. Yeah. But that should be the world. That should be the first look in your world at, like, auditioning. You should audition and see if you're good enough to get in there. See, these schools it's think they, it's... You, you throw, these, I mean, these Asian kids did not want to be up on that stage last night. No. It's hilarious now. Everybody wants to be famous and no one has talent. Yeah. I was like, I thought when we performed in middle school, I mean, we were at least into it. Yeah. <laughs> and then, so this is Eastside High School. This is, this is a crazy joke. Yeah, but where's a I... black uh, high school? Yeah. East Side, East Side's the school from Lean on Me. No, that's the one in Hoboken. This is East Side from Hoboken. No, this looks no. like it's Patterson. East Her Patterson. I mean, this is not East Side from Patterson. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there, there's not even that Lean many me. white people in the in the city. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, but it's all white, it's all white. It's if you notice though, it's all white girls who flourish in black communities. <laughs> Too real? <laughs> All right, Jacob, saying break. All right, I guess we'll break on that. Uh, we'll be right back. Rich Falk, you hang the next 20 minutes with us? Yes. All right, cool. We'll be right back, everyone. It's the bonfire. Hey, this is Joe List, and you're listening to The Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder, and they've both come inside of me. Carlos, I fucking love you! I'll be there. The Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Series XM95. I'll be there. Yeah. That sweet harmony is Big J Okerson. I'm Dan Sutter in Studio Rich Voss. Uh, going through, Jay was talking about his daughter's high school choir recital, so we started going down a deep rabbit hole. Christine, you still haven't found, like, an all-black high school killing it. No, I'm looking. Up, I'm, I'm looking up by African American now. Why? Because when you type in black choir into YouTube, it doesn't really come up the way you want to. Just urban, try urban. Oh yeah. Just put Nork School Choir. Yeah. <laughs> Simple. Uh, there you Camden, go. Camden High. Yeah. Plainfield. I grew up Plainfield High School. Plainfield School Choir. Yeah, this is Freeside Rawls. Rawls State Prison School. <laughs> I know Inglewood High is a great band. Oh, Christine, so. see if there's a prison choir anywhere. Oh, <laughs> good call. Doing Rich. this, I'll be there. <laughs> I found Memorial High School choir is I'll be <laughs> pretty funny. Just sight yep. scene. Prison choir. choir, I'll be yeah, there I'll just in five around. to ten, <laughs> <laughs> depending on how. Oh, I'm already in this. Goes. Hey, what is this? Inglewood, Inglewood choir. High. They're doing "Can You Stand the Rain" by New Edition. They all want to be there. They're all moving. Fuck Carlos. Oh my god. Are they going to lose their shit, though? Carlos is a very supportive guy. Fast forward. Poor fat kids that they had to put in. Come on, Ralph! <laughs> Who's gonna nail this? Come on, Ralph! Oh, look at the. He's nailing it. Sort of is. Now you know I'm hoping it's right. <laughs> I almost like the commentary is better. The commentary is better. Yeah. I see you, Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, Mike, Ralph, and Johnny. They're like, shut up, Tanisha! That's all her kids, she just said. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what up, Ronnie? Do that, Dickie Doe, and Dan, and Tyree, T Bone. And, 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 and now Kabooby's kids. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now my other. <laughs> I'm sitting behind her going, excuse me, excuse me. These kids are pouring their heart out because I'm trying to wash the show. They wash it then! Okay. <laughs> Miss, can you stop yelling? <laughs> Well, why are you tapping me? Watch yeah, it. I'm just asking you to be quiet, please. Damn. I don't know why boy want to watch show for somebody. What you gave for these motherfuckers? No. No, it's my friend's cousin, and I'm here with him. Can you please let me Your watch? friend cousin. Everybody up that motherfucker, my cousin. What you know about cousins, white motherfucker? God damn it. I'm just trying to watch the show. I'd rather go see Carlos. Yo, we'll bounce, boo. Yeah. Yo, dab. Yeah. Dab it. Don't fuck with my... <laughs> Public school... 
Yes. Oh, right. now we're just going down a real rabbit I hole. I love it. That's fine. No, this was a Chicago high school choir on America's Got Talent. Perfect. Oh. Yes. Oh. oh, but we don't count the one in the studio. Most, see how of, it is. most of them are dead already. Uh -huh. Does the Mormon Tabernacle Choir pretty good? And they're all white kids. Her mother doesn't like that kind of Simon always looks like he just got done in a gay orgy and just threw on a shirt quickly. This is, a, this is an ethnic school. Nor Noah Garden Schwartz? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Latino Noah. <laughs> Latino Noah Garden Schwartz. I hope this goes long enough for uh, when it comes. Oh, it's Hannibal. Yeah. <laughs> you can't, Simon, awesome. Simon, you can't tell by his face on America's Got Talent, like, if he likes it or not until it's over. So we're going to over and he goes, rubbish. No. Y'all, rubbish. He Love loves it. this. You can tell. I know. Now he does. No, yeah. I think he likes the little, uh, I think he likes to fucking twinkle toes over there teaching everybody. Oh, yeah. Simon's a fan of a man who wears an open collared shirt. Yeah. I mean, they're good. They are very good. This does look like they came together to teach him music to stay out of the streets. Yeah, Use like, your voices, not your hands, man. If you turn your guns, you get free lessons. You got to understand something. You kids are special. This kid looks like Mr. Fuji. Where did they find you, son? Dang you, son. Mira, all right, now we're going. What? Now, what Christine is bringing up the schools of her neighborhood. <laughs> she goes, That's literally everything she's done so far is the schools oh, of her one, neighborhood. This one's well, Inglewood and Compton. I just came across Maricosta High School and it said Toto by Africa. So oh. I was like, maybe we should hear. Oh, I do want to hear that now. They better not blow it. They won't. <laughs> Christine fucks lamb. These are white kids. But I feel, I feel like they wouldn't. Know. Are they snapping? What are they doing? Oh, they're starting out with the rain. Oh, oh I love this. Yeah, this is where <laughs> I went to school. This is where you went to high school? Yeah. I this is I your high school? Yeah. Christine missed this appearance. She missed this show because she was booting up under a bleacher. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the rain's under the bleachers. She was, yeah. the, she was in the agricultural school wing where she was fucking lamb. Yeah. She goes, I heard we can clone one. And <laughs> it's a little long for an intro. Well. I guess you can't stand the rain. It just Goodbye, makes... everybody. Oh. It's the bonfire. <laughs> I mean, look how coordinated they are. Look at this. Also, for whites. <laughs> I really didn't... <laughs> if I was on mushrooms, this would be fucking me up. Yeah, they're making them jump yeah. to make the thunder. In a wave. Is, is it making anyone else kind of have to pee? It sounds, like rain hitting <laughs> I mean, a, it sounds like rain hitting a tarp. The kids at the concert yesterday were all holding paper. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Wait for oh, it. Oh, yeah, my daughter was literally reading. Hey, hold on, Jay. Jay. She was dripping hey, mascara on the paper. Hey, uh, Christine, can you rewind it a little bit? Because if they start snapping, you just go in and start doing poetry. I don't know who I am. Oh, damn it. Black, white, all the same. All the same. We are one. We are a uh, There are no blacks uh, here, but we are all the same. All right, they can start it. Look, Christine's so proud of her white supremacist. I want school. to see his lead singer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Beatboxing? I told you, I'm pretty schooling. <laughs> Wait, pause this. Pause it. Are you not I you? hate every girl in this or in this chorus. <laughs> I'm sure they're all the Because worst. anytime the noise that comes out of a girl chorus is, oh, yeah, boy, oh, boy, oh, yeah, boy, oh, boy. I'm like, none of these girls fuck at all. What? Oh, they how, fuck. How, how, is that, how is that a correlation? No one sings like that and fucks also. <laughs> I bet most of them are making out with each other. Huh? I bet most of them are making out with each other, Yeah, too. they got big woolly muffs. Not the kind I like. I mean, too woolly. I think you're well, wrong. Like, like Middle Eastern woolly. Yeah, where it's like coming off the body too much. I think oh, they're yeah. like, aren't choir kids like band kids and just fuck all the time? Yeah. Each other. Well, that was the girl. The, I lost my virginity to the, the first girl and then afterwards started dating a girl from band. And uh, she would do everything but fuck. Like I could eat her pussy, and she could she would suck my dick, but she wouldn't fuck ever. And she was a band chick, but she probably blew a lot of people. Band is uh, maybe she was a flutist. <laughs> yeah, no, she was a uh, I think cello. She was a dancer, but like an actual boring dancer. Oh, yeah. The flutist you did know was a raging. 
I, I, right. I, hooked, I hooked up with a, a, a Juilliard flautist for a little bit, and yeah. That's what it's called? Ra- yes. Yeah. Flautist? Raging hoo-ha. I mean, she was uh, an animal. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Hold on. Well, let's see what this... This is... Oh, pause it. This guy is Asian and he sings really Asian. I want he goes, to oh, he goes, Did you hear that? Yeah, a phone goes, book for you. He goes, Get the dog echoing tonight. He is <laughs> only whispers of some kind of conversation. I cannot do your math homework. He's also the only Asian in the whole school. Can you please stop cheating off me? <laughs> I do my own. Research. Yeah. I got to go and I have to go to a chair or lesson. <laughs> I have to be home to do Bible study before three. My mom is a tiger mom. <laughs> <laughs> I have to eat the steady rice of seaweed. The, the, start that. Start his vocals the over. The lead singer for, for this band? Yeah, Toto. Hit the lead singer, his father's John Williams, the composer. Really? Yeah. The classic. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wait, the guy who sings the high high pitch parts. The lead singer for Toto. I don't know. But his, there was two. His last name is Williams. Yeah. I just yeah. Is, is this the start of his vocals? Because <laughs> it's very yes. I have to hear the beginning of it. He'll be on the PGA tour. Yeah. This is so great. Trans- translation. <laughs> they turned the choir performance into a Japanese karaoke with a bunch of drunk businessmen. I'm surprised Bill Murray's not in the audience. He's going to hit a note or something. And they're going like this. Long, long, you're doing great. Keep going. Oh, wait, rewind it. This is what he says to say. You got to get the he talked to me as it to say. Hold on, play it. It's so Asian. Uh, it's so politically correct. One, this I one see has, the lane down it. Yeah. Dude, that, uh, that's, Dude, that's, even, that's piss your pants hilarious. Yeah. If I was at school, I'd be, I'd be removed from the auditorium. Yeah. Instead of the loud black mom, it's the loud Asian mom where she's going, You're nailing it! You're yeah. nailing it! You do good! Sing harder! Uh-huh. Sing harder! You got it! You bring the whole rain down! We're going to make Eddie puke. That's fucking, that's piss your pants hilarious. Play, keep keep playing Please it. keep going. We have, we have a few more minutes. The rains down in Africa. What takes the time to do the thing we never said? Yeah, we're good decision makers. Let's throw the Asian kid in a bow tie up front. I mean, that part's awesome. (laughs) (laughs) Every word of this is great in an Asian accent. It's the girl you used to go out with yeah. someday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, She's a rich girl. I know. Yeah. She's like, Dan, I don't want to go to Queens. Wait, rewind. I got to hear an Asian guy sing the word Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro. Mars as Kilimanjaro rises like a rimpus. <laughs> Wait, here we go. See to care what deep inside. There comes <laughs> Murk face. It's nailing me and you harder than anybody. But it is my. I want to watch it eight more times in a row. Oh, he went back in. Have I do? I press the reins. I press the reins. Uh, goes back to the principal. He goes, and that was our international choir. Uh, up next. Let's get a close-up on some of these bros. Oh, oh, look at this. Let's see the bitch arms on the chicks. When I was like, hey. Oh, yeah. A couple of them look like 
Dude. Oh, they're making him wear like African fucking uh, the do, King of Zamuda. Yeah. I do not agree with the way you are addressing your students. <laughs> I find it offensive to me and my people. Is he I have out? third terrain in Africa, and there was never an Asian guy there. <laughs> Curry I find boys, what you do you. offensive. Oh, you know that fucking. You know that. Uh, right, here we go. Oh, she's good. Now, now oh, they have a black girl step oh, up. Oh, come on. She's going to do the big parts. There she is. Get in it. Too. Yeah, there she goes. Someone in the choir goes. Why not uh, you go out and sing the big black girl notes? He goes. Sorry, short round. Shanice is going to step up for this <laughs> one. <laughs> Old round eye. <laughs> hey, Dean, take a seat. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Albert. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Albert, hit the skids. LaShonda's Lesha gonna fucking bring this one home. No fair. She's the center of the girls' uh, oh. she's the center of the girls' basketball oh, team. Sorry. She's oh. the goalie and soccer. Oh. She stuffed me in locker. That's fucking. Uh, that's fantastic. He was deported. Rich, I hope you had as much fun as we had having you in today, man. That's, Thank you so much for hanging hilarious. out. Uh, God damn, dude. Do the dude. black mom again. <laughs> excuse me, uh, uh, miss. Excuse me, can you sit down? I'm trying to watch the choir. Yeah, then watch it then. <laughs> Why are you bothering with me? My kid up there too, motherfucker. We two, all got kids. I got two kids up there. I got two others sitting right here. You want to watch them? You want somebody to run them too? <laughs> Why come? I don't know. Cause why come every time we come out to a to a motherfucking show to watch my little nigga perform, and y'all back here talking a bunch of shit? Get the fuck off! I'm leaving. I don't care. This song yeah. sucks anyway. I don't even. I was like only here for Carlos. I don't even like my little. Mother. Yeah. I don't like my kid Carlos. Sexy he about, that motherfucker got the most deadbeat daddy at all. Carlos wearing diamond earrings, looking all fuckable. <laughs> I bet his daddy make money. You want to be Carlos' daddy? Then mind your motherfucking business. You can't buy nothing. I don't care. I'm sorry. Stand with stamps. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Try to get a pretzel with my stamps. <laughs> uh, I'm just well, let me get one on loan then. <laughs> Guys, I'm just, I'm just here with Carlos's mom. You ever hear a girl at a, at a, at a, at a bodega arguing that? I come back tomorrow and give it to you. Yeah. I ain't here every day. Yes. <laughs> That's my favorite. Uh, Rich, thank you so much for hanging out with I us, buddy. I lost my transfer. <laughs> you can catch Rich Voss this Saturday, May 6th, at the Newtown Theater in Newtown, PA. Um, you'll get your tickets somehow. Yeah, good. <laughs> That's the you clue. Know, text Andy Fury or hit him up on uh, social media. He'll be there, not according to the flyer. Yeah. But so I hear, and also the roast, the roast of Rich Voss uh, is going to be on Monday, June 26th at the Village Underground. That's going to be one of the events of the year. Rich so Voss, sure a real bait and switch kind of guy. Uh, you can follow are you us. going to Newton or are you going to Newtown? You don't know. You better drive your ass somewhere around there. Just go to Pennsylvania and look for signs. Yeah, and it's, it's one there. of those two. Newtown or Newton. It's Newtown. It is Newtown, and it's the Newtown Theater in Newtown, PA. So make sure you go this Saturday. Catch uh, Rich and also catch uh, Mark Face. Andy Fiore is going to be out there. Uh, and, of course, Daniel. <laughs> Danny Soder is going to be performing at the Stress Factory in old New Brunswick, New Jersey. That's right. So the tri-state area, you make your way out to see Dan uh, tomorrow, Thursday, May 4th through Saturday, May 6th. You can get your tickets at dansoder.com. Um, and I will be headlining. Yeah, hold on real quick. I'm waiting for him to oh, kick oh, the I'm music. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Get out, dude. We're going to be in Boston. Laughs in Boston, cool, May cool. 4th. May 4th tomorrow. May 6th. That's tomorrow through Saturday. BigJComedy.com for tickets. Also, go check out What's Your Fucking Deal on CISO.com. All of Season 2 available right now. Go watch it and follow us at the Bonfire SXM, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. We'll see you Monday.